We are also watching Canadians and their story now on this cruise ship. This ship quarantined in Japan with thousands of passengers and 251 Canadians aboard because 10 people on that ship have tested positive for the coronavirus. And as Michael Serapio joins me, that means all of the other Canadians, none of whom are positive, mm -hmm. are stuck there. Yeah, whether or not what their diagnosis has been, as you say, none of them testing positive for the coronavirus, but they are stuck on this ship, as confirmed to us here at CBC News last night by the cruise operator Princess Cruises. Now take a look uh, at some of the visuals that we're getting from Yokohama, Japan. This is uh, just outside of Tokyo, and there you see the Diamond Princess. They're the ones that are confirming that there are, as you say, 251 Canadians on board. Heather, they will be quarantined for the next 14 days. Now the 10 people who were on that ship that tested positive for the coronavirus. Uh, they were 10 out of 273 people who were tested because they had either a cough or fever or had come into contact uh, with a man who got off the ship in Hong Kong and was infected. Uh, as you say, none of the Canadians are infected, but here is a list of who is infected, uh, the nationalities as confirmed by Princess Cruises. Take a look at this. Two are passengers from Australia, three from Japan, three from Hong Kong, one from the United States, also one uh, crew member from the Philippines has been confirmed to have been infected. Now the people who have been affected, they have now been removed from the ship, taken ashore by the Japanese Coast Guard, and they're now in hospital where they're getting care. And as a precaution to prevent any kind of spread, Japan's Ministry of Health, they're the ones that have ordered this quarantine. There is roughly uh, some 3,700 people on board, uh, more than 2,000 passengers, more than 1,000 uh, crew members. Princess Cruise Ship says uh, food and provisions will be transported to the ship from the mainland so there's no immediate concern but they are tracking to see if anyone else comes down with any symptoms Heather. So it is a really interesting story and one uh, Michael which raises some significant questions about how they think the virus uh, got on board I guess so to speak or how the people contracted the virus. Yeah and that's still being investigated because they really have no clear answers. As I say among those that uh, were tested uh, were those that were spending a lot of time with one passenger uh, who disembarked in Hong Kong and was then tested to be positive for the coronavirus. That might be one vector of infection but you know the ship also had several ports of call uh, in Vietnam, Taiwan, Kagoshima, ok uh, Okinawa. So it, it, this is a matter that's now being investigated because as you say, as they try to uh, contain the spread of this uh, outbreak, they're also trying to, to sort out how is it actually now being spread? Are we looking at any type of mutation? Uh, are we uh, learning anything new about the virus? That is certainly part of this investigation, but the immediate means that uh, the people on board, including those 251 Canadians, uh, will be quarantined for about two weeks. Incredible story. We're going to be reaching out and trying to contact some of those Canadians mm -hmm. on board and see if they're sharing any videos of their experience because apparently uh, they're confined to quarters and things are pretty dicey there. But Michael, thank you. We'll watch that You're with welcome. you all through the morning as well.